Hi, I'm JJ from Wild Hog Scooters. Today we're going to show you how to clean a 50cc Chinese carburetor. Uh, this is your basic, you know, 49cc, 50cc carburetor. And the number one issue is they get dirty and you got to clean them. You're going to start with taking it out of the bike uh, and you'll have it out just like this. It's a couple of hose clamps on each end, your throttle linkage on this side. Uh, it's two nuts, you just unscrew and it pops off the side right here. Once it's out, it's pretty simple to clean. You'll see three screws on the bottom of the carburetor. These are going to open the carburetor bowl. Uh, you want to do it over a tray or some sort of pan because this is where the gasoline is and it'll all leak out. Uh, this one's already been drained, so I'll show you what the inside looks like. Uh, you're just going to use a Phillips head screwdriver, take them out. And then when you pull it apart, that's when the fluid will drain. So you split the two apart, and then this is the insides of the carburetor. There's really two important parts that you really need to clean uh, are going to be your two jets. You got your jet here and your jet here. They uh, are removed with a flathead screwdriver. So you unscrew those. And you'll see a tiny little hole. Um, you'll need like the end of a wire brush or a real fine piece of metal. Um, just something to go in there and clean out the, the hole. Um, then be real careful not to lose it. Um, and then you're going to do the same thing with the other jet on the bottom of the carburetor. This one has other holes though on the bottom. I don't know if you can see those, but those need to be cleaned out as well. Um, so you're going to take your little piece of metal and poke all those out and make sure everything's clear. Um, you can use a little bit of carburetor, cleaner, brake cleaner, any sort of parts cleaner will dissolve any crud that's in there. This one you can use with the wrench and it just unscrews as well. So you have the screws, as well, uh, the holes as well. Make sure everything's clean. This one has a much bigger opening. They generally don't need as much cleaning but just make sure they're all open. So then you just reassemble all the jets. Tighten them with your flathead screwdriver. Um, and then lastly too, you have the float and the fuel needle here. You're going to want to take that out and check it. You just loosen this screw. And then this whole assembly will come right out. So this is the part here that goes in here and a lot of times they're stuck. So you want to take it out, clean this, and clean in there. And then you reassemble you know, the same way it came apart. Back to the screw. So, make sure you know nothing falls apart. There's no loose, loose jets. Uh, make sure everything's snug, but don't strip them. So the two jets are back in. The float moves freely. Um, and then before you put it in as well, you want to clean out any crud that's in here as well in the crevices here. You use a, a brush, clean out all the junk, and then also check your accelerator pump. Um, make sure everything moves freely. Um, and then you just reassemble the two halves and then put the three screws back in. And tighten them with the Phillips head screwdriver. So that'll fix any issues if it's been sitting for just a couple of weeks or a couple of months. If it's been sitting for longer than that, you might need a new carburetor or might have to go into it a little bit more. Um, you know, if your throttles froze up or if you have an issue with your diaphragm or fuel needles, that'll be a different video. But thanks for watching.
Hi, it's JJ again from Wild Hog Scooters. Just wanting to remind you guys, if you're not comfortable working on your own scooter, we're always here to help. You can always call us or bring your bike by, and we can help you service or do anything that you need with your scooter. Uh, we have five locations, so bring it, bring it into any store if you don't feel comfortable trying to tackle any job that you see on our videos yourself.